in the Philippines when you're island hopping, uh, brownouts are frequent and it's commonplace. So there's a couple things, a couple of items that you need when you're traveling island hopping in the Philippines, okay? Number one is a little headlamp. All right, and when the lights come back on or I go outside, I'll show you this. Number one is a headlamp. Okay, a little headlamp is a good little thing to have. And, you know, if you go out at night, put it in your pocket, take it with you in case you come back and there's a brownout. Another little thing to have, and I'm gonna show you this outside too, is some type of little rechargeable light. Check this little night light out, folks. This thing is too cool. I picked this up in Dubai or Abu Dhabi, I can't remember. But this little thing here, it, it blows up. It's got three settings, low, high, and it blinks. And it, it's, I mean, it's very light. And on the back, it's got little solar panels. So what I do, I keep this thing on all night and then turn it over during the day. And it's just a, a perfect little night light. And, you know, not that you're, I mean, it's not really detrimental that you bring a nightlight, but it's, it, if you're staying at a new hotel, you don't uh, know the, the way on the path or whatever, you need a headlamp. So what, when I, what I do, if I go out at night, I just leave this little nightlight on. So if there's a brownout, hey, you know, I can see to get in the room and I don't worry about it. I'm gonna show you these two items later, but right now, a little brownout it shouldn't last for too long. This ho hotel doesn't have a generator, and most of your smaller hotels are not gonna have a generator. If you're staying at the larger resorts, they do. But staying at the smaller resorts, carry yourself a little headlamp, and check out my little rechargeable light. I'm gonna show you in a few minutes. All right, here we go. Here's three pieces of gear that have worked well for me. They are working well for me when I'm island hopping here in the Philippines or Southeast Asia. I don't know if you can hear in the background, but you can hear a generator running at the bigger resort next door. But at my resort, there's no electricity. And in the Philippines, brownouts, you know, temporary interruptions in the electrical uh, supply. It's, it's commonplace every day. Uh, you know, for an hour or two in some places, there's no electricity. It's not a big deal. It's just a little bit of an inconvenience. You learn to live with it. But here's here's some pieces of gear that if you're going to go island hopping in the Philippines, you might want to pick up. This thing right here is a little rechargeable LED light. And it's got one, two, three, four, five LEDs. And you blow the thing up, and it's got a little, a little thing right here. You can hang it. And when you turn it over, this thing, which is, it's called a Halo Vital. It's a rechargeable uh, emergency solar light. And so what I do, it's got three settings. It's low, high, and it's blink. And all, you, all I do during the day is take this thing and turn it over like that, let it charge. And I turn it on low. I just leave it on all night. It'll pretty much run all night long. So this is a pretty cool little piece of gear. And then when you inflate it, it just crushes down. It's easy for for storage. So it works well for me. Like when I go out tonight, I just leave this. I just leave this in my room. And it'll run all night. So I'll put the link down in the description. But it, it's called a Halo Vital. I picked this up in. Abu Dhabi or Dubai. Pretty cool little piece of gear. Alright, the second thing that's worked well for me is this little Rav Power Extreme. And how many milliamps? It's a 10,000, 10,050 milliamp. So you can get on the aircraft with this. The last time I flew international, they were sitting there checking these things. 10,000 was the max. It's a pretty good little power bank, but and, and it's got two outputs. Uh, one has more amperage than the other. But pertaining to this video, the cool thing about it is it's got a little light on it too. It's 
a little LED light. And that thing will probably last. I mean, with this power bank, there's no telling how long it will last. But when you have a brownout, you've got a little flashlight and you've got power to charge your cell phone. Because cell service usually stays on. Right. And again, I'll put the link down in the description. But it's called a... I think it's called the extreme but it's, it's waterproof water resistant shock proof and it's by RAV power and the weight I could put the weight down there too it's not it's it's not too uh, it's not too heavy you got a place you can hang it if you so desire I actually come with a carabiner and third piece of gear is a headlamp so when I leave out, I take this with me because if, if there's a brownout, all the power's out. You can't you can't see to walk down the street. And this one's from Next Torch. I picked this up in again Dubai or Abu Dhabi. I needed a new one. This particular one here, it's got a UV light on it. Now, I don't know what, what what it was advertised for. Was that <laughs> when you're camping in the desert, you can use that to check for scorpions? Now, not that I'm checking for scorpions here, but I guess you could use it to check for bugs. I don't know. Stains on the mattress. Who knows? Not really functional for me, but it's got two settings. So these are, these are three pieces of gear if you're island hopping, hanging out in Southeast Asia. This thing here is just too cool. It stays on all night flip it over like this during the day and then turn it back on at night it's perfect and again it's it's inflatable so you just pop that out and and deflate it there you go folks three three little pieces of gear that if you if you're gonna go island hopping you know hanging out in Southeast Asia Pick those three pieces up and make your life a lot easier. Alright, thanks for watching.